Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at milling on the Emco Compact 5 lathe. Let me first of all show you on the back of the lathe here, you can see uh, a fitting. This thing attaches right here. Next comes the mast. Finally, this is the milling head. One more thing I have to do is remove the compound. Okay, so you remove the compound. Now with the compound off, you're going to need uh, some way of attaching things here and there are a number of things that you can do. Uh, this is the milling table for this. Let me show you something really confusing and a little bit tricky. This is the milling table from the Unimat um, small little lathe. And this is the milling table from the Compact 5. Also it would fit the Unimat 3. Um, it's the same milling table. And the everything looks to be exactly the same. As a matter of fact, if you compare them, they're exactly the same size. The spacing is identical. Everything is the same. There is one really fine difference, and that is this. This is for the Unimat. This is a clamp from the Compact 5. This clamp will not work with the Unimat. So you can't you can't use this table on the Compact 5 lathe. You could of course actually if you have the right clamps you could adapt that and use that just fine with the uh, Unimat. Um, uh, the Compact 5 is uh, this is a highly limited milling table. This is for a much, much smaller lathe. We'll see on the lathe, when you put this on the lathe, that this milling table is uh, far less than adequate. Let me show you a close-up of that. Okay, the problem happens right here. If you look at the depth of those milling slots, this is the Compact 5, works great. Won't work there. This is a clamp for the Unimat, works fine. Would even work fine here, although it's a little bit wimpier. How confusing and uh, what a nightmare that is. There are several different ways to orient this. You can orient it like this, come all the way over here. You can orient it like so. <coughs> Instead of clamps, you can attach things to that. You're gonna have a whole bunch of them different sizes and shapes and of course you got all kinds of different lots of nuts and bolts importantly here are the t-nuts that fit in this thing so uh, you can clamp all kinds of things down there for convenience they also provide you with a where you can you can get uh, a little milling vise like so. So there you have the possibility for milling on this lathe. Now there are all sorts of different things you can attach here. Let me show you a couple more. This thing here will attach to the lathe like so. So it's a clamping plate you can, like a face plate you can use on the lathe. That will also attach here if you want to. So you could do that, use that, and clamp things to that. It might be more convenient for uh, round things and so forth to be able to do that. I've turned this sideways so I can show you a couple of details here. First of all, this is a collet chuck, um, ER25 collet chuck. So you can put ER25 collets in there and put milling uh, tools in, in that and so forth. You can also change this over to a drill chuck 
you can mount your uh, tailstock drill chuck will just thread right on there and of course the larger drill chuck can also perform that same thing so then you can have uh, you can do drilling operations and this is spring loaded so you have a uh, looks like uh, maybe two inches or so of throw there but if you're doing milling operations you may prefer to have a uh, slow motion this is just a gear train that engages here there's a gear on there lock that down now this thing won't turn instead you use this so you can turn it on down like so it's even got I don't know if you can see that there but you can read off the depth there if you need to be that precise so you can use that for a little bit better control much better control actually as you can see from the faceplate, this has three possible speeds, 450, 800, 1900 revolutions per minute. Um, if you open this up, you can see there's your belt drive. This is the Imco dividing attachment. A uh, pretty cute little device. It's made so that you can mount any of the items that you can mount on the lathe. You can mount this um, clamping table like so, which probably that may be one of the more convenient things uh, or the chucks, of course. Anyhow, you can mount that and then you can use a um, a pin back here and the pin has various holes that you can use uh, one is 36 56 60 and 48 divisions or numbers of holes in this plate back here so that then you can precisely set um, a number of multiples almost almost anything you could want um, a few exceptions maybe 13 for example you can't do 13 divisions but you can do darn near everything else um, with this and you know if you set it for 10 for example you can go 90 here and then precisely line it up with the next mark anyway you can mount it directly to the table here you can also mount it this way if that's more convenient and you might have to remove this this thing by the way you can take this out if you want to it's spring-loaded device in there and it's got several different slots that you can select then it's free rotating. Now I've got the indexing attachment set up here on the lathe. This is the little spring-loaded device to lock it in. It's set for three, 36 or uh, 10 degrees per increment. So let's give this a try. Let's actually go 90. The Emco Compact 5 with the milling attachment has a footprint on the shop bench of about 30 by 12. Very nice, very compact, exactly as advertised. If you have a few more inches, you can add this and make this into a much more convenient lathe. This milling table has a footprint of about 12 by 12, roughly. 
and it's uh, very nice to be able to have a separate mill compared to a lathe. That way you can leave the lathe set up as a lathe, have the mill set up as a mill, and use them accordingly. It's very inconvenient to be flipping back and forth and changing everything here. It's, a, it's very complicated all the time you're do, doing that. Let me show you what this looks like when you mount this mill to this. This is an Emco milling table. Now you have a lathe that acts like a lathe and a mill that acts like a mill. No compromises. This is very high quality. This is made by Emco. You could probably buy aftermarket tables also, but um, you probably want to stick with the same quality. The Emco quality is very, very high. Extremely well made. Very, very nice. You have a much larger capacity here. <clears throat> Compare this to the small little milling table. This is the milling table that goes on the lathe. This is about three times the size, two and a half times the size, um, and it gives you a lot more capacity. You can work on much bigger pieces should you need to here. So you got a lot more flexibility with a big table like this. You also have more freedom, got more motion both ways to be able to tra traverse both ways. So. Um, in general, this is a very much better solution. I hope you've enjoyed this three-part video on the Emco Compact 5 lathe and milling machine combination. Thank you very much for watching.